The objective of this lesson is to be able to derive a graph like this one, which will show, for example, a performance versus a budget for four different uh, subsidiaries and having 12 months of data. If I wanted to have this in one uh, graph, it would have eight lines and it would be very difficult to read. And here, as you can see, it's much more easy to read. So how do we do this? I'll start with my raw data set. I have the company, the months, the sales, and the target. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna delete the name of the companies and only leave the first one for each company or each subsidiary. So I'm gonna delete all these A's and keep the first one. Next, I delete all the B's and keep the first one. Delete all the C's and keep the first one. And then all the D's and keep the first one. This first step. Second step, for Excel, in order for Excel not to have this graph continuing with this line and having a break, I need to consider that those two are a data series, which is the same data series here, and those two are a data series. So how do I do this? I just need to create two columns, sales, again, and then targets, and then I copy my data from B and D there. So I copy my data. I can also cut it. So I need to delete it from here. And then I will do the same operation on D. So I can cut, I can paste. And next, we just fix the format. So now what happened when I'm going to create a chart, this too will be a couple of data series and it will break here because I have no data here. And here, those two will be a data series. And again, it will break. So I won't have a line continuing. Now I'm gonna insert a chart. So I select my data, very simple. This is my data selected. I do insert and then I select a line chart and I can use, for example, this one. So here you go, I got a chart. Let's make it a bit bigger so we can see. As you can see, this and this is two data series and this and this are two data series and I have a duplicate legend. So first thing I need to do is I need to change the colors. So this purple, I need to change it to red and this green, I need to change it to blue. So I click on the purple and I get all this selected. I right click, I do format data series. Then I go to the bucket. I change this to this color. I will do the same with this. I click on this, I go here, and I'll change it to this color. So now, as you can see, I have my graph by subsidiary, and it looks like it's the same color. Next, I need to delete the duplicates here. So I click on my legend, and then I click inside. So click on the legend, then click inside, then press on delete on your keyboard, the delete key. You, you do the same thing, you remove the second target, we are good. Next, we fix our title, performance versus budget. And I'll let you choose the formatting for this. Obviously you can click on it, right click it, and then change the format here, or you can go here and click on bold, for example, to make it bold. The last step, what we need to do is have a separator between the subsidiaries. So how do I do this? It is a technique that we have used in other videos that you can check. Basically, we're gonna insert a scattered plot, which is another types of plot in this chart. And then we're gonna use those scattered dots to draw lines. How do we do this? We just add a table. I need one separator, two separator, three separators. So a scatter plot has an X and a Y axis. Correct. So I'm going to do one, two, three. So I have my three separators and we'll call it separ separators. Okay. Now, what should be the Y for my separator? I want to have the line starting from the bottom, right? So the Y should be zero because this is the X axis if you want. And this is the Y axis. So at the bottom of the Y axis, it's zero. So I'm going to write zero, zero and zero. What is my X axis? Uh, first one, it's after 12 months, right? So this is 12 months exactly. We want it a little bit farther. So we're going to do it 12 and a half. 
So 12 and a half measurement. What is my second one? 24 months, right? So 24 months plus half, 24 and a half. And the last one will be 36 months plus half. So I can do a formula here. I can say equal this times 12 plus half. And then I can just drag the formula down. Now let's insert our dots. How do I do this? I can click here and then I can right click and I can say select data, add. So I'll add a new series. The series name, we can call it separator. Then what is my value? I'm going to choose the Y values for convenience for now. So now I've added the series and you can see there are some lines here. But this is not over. So now I select this dot with the line and then can right click, change data series type. And then I go at the bottom separators and I select scattered plot. And I want a secondary axis. So as you can see, I got my dots, my dots with a secondary axis. Now, once you get those, I need to add the X axis, right? To put them one here, one here, one here. So I right click on it. I say select data. And then I can say, I can go to separator. I do edit. Then I need my X values. So I select my X values and I say, okay. And I say, okay. So once I have my dots in the right positions, I can use the error bar technique to draw lines here. So how do I do this? I can click on my dots, then on the plus, and then I have to click on error bars. Now, if you click here, as you can see in this graph, I'm going to get horizontal error bars. I don't want this. So I'll click on the arrow, more options, and then I get both options. So what I'm going to do is after getting both options, I click on the horizontal ones and then I press delete on my keyboard. They are gone. I'm left with the vertical ones. I click on them. Then I do plus because I want to start from the bottom, my dot and up, and then I do no cap. Okay. Very simple. Next thing I want to do, I want to fix my axis because I want it always to go from zero to one. So how do I fix my axis? I click on this axis. Then I go here. I have axis options. You go here and you put zero. You have to put zero because I don't want this auto. I, once you get the bottom reset, it means it's manually done. And then you put one. So once you do this, it goes from zero to one and automatically this will go from zero to one. So I get my separators. Next, we need to format our separator. So for example, let's say I don't like the color. I want it to be gray. And then I want the transparency to be something like this, let's say 2.75. So I have a separator here. And again, you can play with the formatting. It's just clicking on them. And then if you don't have this uh, window, you just right click and you do format error bars. And then you get them here. Next, I need to get rid of these dots. So I click on them. Then I go here. I will say marker. I will say no fill, no line. Then my markers are gone. Finally, what we need to do is to get rid of this axis. So how do I do this? If I click on it and press delete on the keyboard, it's not going to work. You can see that your uh, lines are gone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide it. How do I hide it? I click on it. I click here. I have tick marks. I'm going to say none. Next, labels, I'm going to say none. As you can see, it has disappeared. And now we have this line. So this line, if you see, it is a solid line. Transparency will put zero. And then we start playing with the width of the line. And once you put the same width as this, then your chart is done. One last small detail. You can see here that I have separator in the legend. So I'm just going to click on the legend, click on separator and press delete on my keyboard.